Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, bringing you guys a new Unturned 3.0 informational video showing you guys how to add zombies into your own community created maps. Now, this is something that I've been spending like the past hour trying to freaking figure out, and the problem is, is that there's no resources or tutorials or any of that on the internet to like walk me through the process because, you know, zombies came out less than 24 hours ago and I'm assuming most likely someone hasn't posted a tutor tutorial on it and so after messing around for a little bit and analyzing the dev test map to see how that worked I finally figured out how to add zombies into your own worlds and it is a it's simplistic and easy but it's not what you would expect to do so I have uh, for the past like week or so been slowly editing on my own little world. It's extremely basic but it's a pretty good map that we can start off with to begin editing off of. And so here is my world. It's just, I don't know why the freaking oh god the sea level messes up every single time I load up the world and I don't know why it does that. Anyway, so this is my little world that I've been working on. It's just like a little town and stuff and yeah but anyway so your immediate reaction if you want to add zombies into your world is to go into spawns click zombies and just start clicking these spawns down and that's what I've been trying to do and I was like why isn't working and, and click that and adjust values and it wasn't working um, well that's because you haven't set up an area of pathfinding for your own uh, world and I will show you how to do that it's extremely simple I'm gonna get rid of these first um, so before you even begin placing down zombies, you need to basically scan your world for locations where zombies can walk. So if you go into the environment tab and click on navigation, it will put like a little flag of, above your cursor. And uh, just basically put this in the middle of your map. So, you know, like I, I want zombies to spawn in this area. So obviously the middle of that is probably going to be like right there. And what it will do is it'll create a flag with like a square around it. And then you adjust the width and height up here up at the top um, for the areas that it's going to scan. So uh, we're obviously going to want to cover the town. So increase the width and height until we've covered everything for the most part. And then you're going to click Bake Navigation. And th now this is an extremely CPU intensive process. Basically what it's doing is it's scanning the whole environment, what you've selected, for flat areas where zombies could walk on. So obviously zombies couldn't walk uh, through this fence. So when I click Bake Materials, it'll be a little bit easier to see, um, or Bake Navigation, sorry. And um, so this is real time, like it looks like the video is frozen, but it's not, it's just rendering this. And you know, if, if you have a slow computer or if you're doing a, a massive area with a lot of detail, this can obviously take a lot longer. Um, for doing like the dev test, there we go, it finished, but for doing the dev test map, I'm sure it'd probably take like three or four, maybe five times longer. Anyway, so basically what it does is it just coats your whole selected area in this like caution yellow stripes. Um, but as you go up to locations, uh, like up on this roof or by this dumpster, you can notice that the caution um, slowly surrounds the objects and over on this fence as you can see it's like surrounding the fence like that um, basically everywhere where there are stripes that is where zombies can walk so zombies can walk around on this w roof if they'd like to they'd obviously have to get up there first um, but they obviously cannot walk through this fence so now that we've analyzed our whole town this can obviously once again take pretty long we can begin actually placing down zombies now that uh, we have locations where they can walk. Right now the pathfinding isn't at its peak. There are a lot of locations where you can just sit and the zombies won't be able to get you. Like this is a good example. Like if you stand um, in between this car lift thing, zombies won't be able to get you. As you can see the stripes aren't right there. Um, there are a lot of locations where zombies can't get you, like right there and stuff. So I'm not sure how that can be fixed, but um, yeah, I mean, it obviously kind of needs to be because it's kind of cheap. But anyway, so let's just jump right in on how to add zombies into your world. So you're going to go now into spawns, and from here is where you can start placing down uh, the zombie spawns. Now, you could go crazy if you'd like. You could just start placing them all over the place, but I like to have a bit more organization to my stuff. So I'm going to create tables and um, color code my areas so that way I can keep organized the spawns for the zombies in the clothes store and the post office, gas station, mechanics, and police store. Um, to keep it quick, I'm just going to do the two ends of the spectrum, the police uh, station and the clothes store. 
uh, for basically civilian zombies and uh, police zombies. Adding zombie spawns works extremely similar to adding item spawns. So you need to create a table, which in this instance is kind of like a group. So I'm going to create a group for all of the closed store zombies. So just click add and we have the closed store. Make sure to select it. It will add all these different values and these are what the zombies have a chance of wearing. Now, when I was um, messing around with adding zombies into the world, um, I don't know why. I haven't figured out a solution to it yet. Maybe you guys can find one, but I haven't found one yet. All the zombies um, don't have a model to them. They aren't, like, wearing anything. It's just, like, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'll, I'll show you when we get into it. So as of right now, I haven't found much use of this, but it's still nice to edit the values of these, and I'll get into that. So now that we've created the closed store table, we can begin placing down spawns for the closed store. So... Um, I'm going to color code mine pink because the closed store building is pink. There we go, that looks good enough. And before you begin placing down these uh, spawns, I'd recommend changing the percent chance of the zombies spawning with these articles of clothing. Now, since the zombies, for me at least, are like just spawning all weird, this is kind of useless, but I'm assuming if it gets fixed or if I find a solution, um, it would be nice to have these values set the way I want them to, so that way I won't have to go back into it. Now I obviously want it to have a 100% chance of spawning with a shirt and pants on, but I think for a zombie to spawn with a hat, I think it should be a less chance of that happening, so I'm going to make it down to, let's say, a 25% chance of the zombie spawning with an Ushanka on his head, and then to spawn with a bulletproof vest, I think that should obviously be super rare, so I'll make that like a, a 3% or 2%. So now that we've gotten our values kind of set the way that we want them to for civilian zombies spawning in closed store, um, we can begin placing down these uh, points. So I'm going to make like three or so have a chance of spawning in the parking lot. Maybe we can have two inside the stores, put one like there and there. And maybe just as a funny thing, we can have uh, one spawn on the roof or something. And um, that should be pretty good. If you accidentally place one in a location that you don't want it to, so let's say right there or something, uh, you can just click this sub, which has an X on it, and just click on it, and it will have this like radius thing. You can adjust the radius as well, so if you want to get rid of all these, you just make the radius massive. But now that we've gotten those placed down, I'm also going to create a, um, a spawn location or a table for the police station as well to get another end of the spectrum. So we're going to add another table and call it police station, click add, and when we click on it we have different values and uh, different colors and stuff. So I think the police station should be blue. That looks good enough I guess. And um, I still want them to have a 100% chance of spawning with basic clothes on. Hats I think could be a little bit higher maybe. And for a police vest or a bulletproof vest, since they are police officers, I think that they should have a higher chance of spawning with a vest. So I think 80% or so. So now we can place down these police zombies that we want. Make sure that we still have the police station selection on. Click there and there. And uh, we've got that police loot table set up. Um, I'm not entirely sure why it changed the colors of those ones over there, even though we did have the selection of the police station. As you can see, like when I click on closed door, it still um, is pink. So I'm not sure why it's doing that. Anyway, so now that we've got our two uh, spawn points set up, we're pretty much done. We, if we go in a single player, zombies will spawn and they will pathfind and they will, you know, analyze the environment, go around it. But I'm going to go in there and show you the little glitch I've been having with how the models are all messed up and stuff. So we're going to go into single player, click on our world and play it. So there we go, I just spawned just outside of town, and as you can see, there are zombies right there. Uh, we have two out in the parking lot, and it looks like one, or maybe two, inside the clothes store. And as you can see, they're all like multicolored and fabulous looking. I'm not sure why it does that. Um, I looked on the dev test map to see what like they did different, or what Nelson did different than what I did, and he basically has the same exact setup for the zombie spawns and all that jazz. So I'm not sure why it's doing that. If you guys have a, a solution to that, maybe it's just not added in yet or something, or it's just a glitch. But nonetheless, you can still have zombies or something to kill 
in Unturned, and that's pretty nice. It gives you something to do. I'm also going to check the police station down here to see if the zombies spawn there as well. Yep, and it looks like they did, so pretty cool. But anyway, those are the basics on how to add zombies into your own world. If you guys have a solution to this problem that I've been having, make sure to comment it down below, and I will make sure to upvote it and make it... Uh, appear for everyone and add it as an annotation as well but anyway that is how you add zombies into your own unturred world thank you guys so much for watching make sure to rate comment subscribe and do all that shit because you know i hate doing it.